The Raven's Block presents The Black Files An uncensored interview and review podcast for all geek fandom Welcome, one and all. Welcome, everybody. Friends and pals, guys and gals, boys and girls around the world, whether you're a friend or you're a fiend, boy, girl, or in between. Papa Squad, pop up with a cold one with all your friends. It is Wednesday night. We are only a few days removed from uh, one of our bigger events here for the Ravens Flock, and you are listening in, tuning in, watching in to the uncensored, uncut, uncompromising unedited interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Black Files. Absolutely, folks. Thank you very much for t- joining us. It is Wednesday, July 20th. And yes, as Juan says, we are still reeling from a very, very fun and a very, very exciting, wonderful nerd go- nerd convention experience. We invite every one of you guys to join us tonight here on this special episode of the Ravens Flock, the uh, is podcast, The Black Files. I'm your host, Juan Arouse, one of the heads of the Ravens Flock, the tech guru of the team. Although my uh, reputation for being a tech guru may have been sullied and destroyed, and I'm in serious pissed off mood about that, but I'll get to that uh, shortly. And joining me tonight, folks, is the founder of the Ravens. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday ah, crap. to everyone. My microphone was off when I was introducing you. Say hello to Jose Casabona. He's the head of everything. There. Now, I, I, no! just you can stop screaming now. But you, but you, just, no. but you just did a drive-by introduction. What do you want me to do? Okay. Uh, what, you want me to give you one more thing? Okay, here. Uh, I everyone, made we're time going to for you, man. Minutes. Uh, like, t- like, filleting this motherfucker over here. Whatever it was. So, hope you all enjoy. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, no, the host of the, uh, the Ravens Flock, the founder, the man with the plan, the bald motherfucker, the host of Wrestle Rewind. There we go. Jose Casabona. There. There's your entrance. There's your opening. Wow. I'm going to remember this no, one. It was an accident. Cut me a freaking break. You don't get to give me that shit. We had a power outage earlier tonight. There was no, there, there was almost, there was talk I was having to cancel the show tonight because of this shit. But all we're... right, all right, all right, all right. I'll let this go. I'll let this go. And Thank I will you. simply say, first of all, I will say hello, everybody. And yes, everything that Juan said is 100% correct. I am the founder. I am the catalyst of the Raven's Flock. Cattle, like, okay, you can stop with trying to make it uber dramatic, okay, Jared Chode, for fuck's sake. And much like all our other shows on this channel, we are simulcasting on YouTube.com slash The Raven's Flock and Twitch.tv slash The Raven's Flock online. Hit the subscribe or the follow button on the bottom right corner of your screen and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our media content. And of course, leave your questions and comments down below and we will answer them during the duration that we are live. This is a very special episode of The Black Files, so we will also be sharing our Zoom link in the the live chat. You're damn right we are. Uh, And speaking of which, I want to say hello to the... There we go. I had I, yeah, because you see we have one problem one night with the microphones because I had the blue Yeti on instead and I have the uh, standard mics off for the rest of the time. So I want to say hi to the folks in the chat. I've got Shelly Fitzgerald, Nikki Bella, Vixen, Marley Thirteen, Gene Rick, and Temp. Hello everybody. Welcome to you guys. Uh, to you guys. Welcome to the Black Files. Uh, let me take a look over here. Uh, uh, Temp saying love you, brother. It is very late and I wish you could do it early sometime so I could be here more. Much love and support to you. It's all. All right, no worries, man. Oh, like we all live on like different sides of the planet and everything, and like we do absolutely. And you know, the fun thing about YouTube ch- about YouTube videos so after they're uploaded, whether they're uh, live or pre-recorded, you can always go back and watch them. It's true, you can. And uh, I know that uh, for Temp, it's more like he wants to be part of the, part- the participation here. Which I know, is- I know, I know. He wants the live experience. Yeah, true. Which is what we're going to be giving everyone in the chat now. I see Gene Rick is saying, no, please don't cancel. No cancellation. I hope that everyone is well tonight. We're not canceling. We're live. We're doing now. As a matter of fact, yes, we booyaka. are. There's now. the Zoom link in the live chat. And as a matter of fact, I'm going ahead and I'm pinning that. Uh, so 
and especially we want to invite folks who came to MetroCon as well, which is why I'm making sure that we have this shared to everyone and their mother, especially on the MetroCon pages. Uh, oh, let's see here. And I, uh, Temp says, I do. Those watch hours will be going up. You know that. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that. Temp, we appreciate it a lot. The evil plan is working, by the way. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Now, yeah, so while we're waiting until somebody hops on, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, yes, um, the, the, the uh, MetroCon 2022 is officially in the books, and it was certainly a great deal of fun. Like, I'm still trying to reel from all the excitement, You're still all reeling. the emotions. You mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still yeah, I'm still I'm still reeling from all the emotions, all the excitement from the from the whole weekend. Um, but yeah, no, um, let's let's go ahead and start off with our with our experience on Friday of uh, MetroCon. All right. Well, you first over here, because I'm actually trying to share it right now I'm in the middle. Yeah, of, yeah, uh, no worries. No worries. I'm not going to get into out. all the, all the I'm not going to get into all the complicated details because, you know, that's all complicated. But yeah, no, Friday of MetroCon was definitely packed from the start. And uh Something I want to draw attention to before I get into the fun stuff, because I've because uh, I have because I have received complaints on my personal messenger. I'm not going to out who, but people are like complaining on on my messenger, like they messaged me saying, "Oh no, I'm going home. They're requiring uh, proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. You know, I'm out of here. Screw MetroCon." Oh, and that really, really, bust, and that really, really, like. I didn't say piss me off, but I was perturbed. I was taken back from that because oh, they're like, trying to make sure that everyone is safe. Yeah, no, the folks are trying to make sure they don't catch freaking fire, for Christ's sake. Okay, and folks, just another reminder, this uh, a podcast is uncensored. It is 18+. plus. No minors allowed. Sorry, we don't want any kitties. Come back when you're 18. That way you can actually talk like a grown up and we're going to swear like motherfuckers like we always swear like motherfuckers anyway but that's our general disclosure for, uh, disclaimer for the show so definitely of course, of course. understand we're going to fucking like we're going to swear our asses off and we're going to swear people's heads off because that is fucking dumb i would i'm actually thankful to the metrocon staff for being this stringent on uh what do you call it having some form of regulation on being uh like testing negative for covid in order to attend because for crap's sake that shit hasn't ended we had a whole panel talking about how it hasn't ended yet and we needed yes. folks to, we're helping try to spread like positive public health and shit what the fuck and is we're gonna get to, and trust me we're gonna get to that panel in a bit but yeah no i i we are thankful that the staff of metrocon are taking uh, precautions and how they uh, handle with registration and how they handle with attendees and you know folks in the downtown tampa area it's really really not hard to follow procedure like okay so there's a tampa convention center and then a couple blocks up uh locals in tampa will know this there is a plaza there is a plaza area where there is many, many different uh, places, different establishments, all in one area, and it's and it's over by another hotel area. There is a CVS pharmacy. I kid you not. There's a CVS pharmacy. You can literally walk in there, purchase a test at home kit, take the test, and if you test negative, show that proof of negative COVID testing over at registration, get a pass, and then boom, you're all good. you're all good. Yeah, it's like show that you actually took the damn test and you took it today, rather on the day, and fucking uh, get it, you get your groove on. Like, yeah, no, not, exactly. It's not that hard. It's not the end of the universe. I get it. It's annoying. I get it. It's invasive or whatever the fuck. No, fuck you. You're, you need to be considerate of other people. I'm sorry. I'm done playing nice with folks. Oh, I see Adriana G. Hello, Adriana. Welcome. Um, like no, legitimately. I, I, my sympathy for people and my freedoms. No, it's gone. I'm sorry. It's yeah. gone. I'm not going to uh, sympathize anymore. Hello, V's channel. How's it going? Like, I'm, I, I, I just, I can't, I've got no patience left for people who are trying to argue, like, oh, but this COVID thing is my, my virus. It's a fucking thing. No, mother fuck off. I'm done with that shit, and so is everyone else, and especially over in the freaking uh, over at MetroCon. 
Like, cause like, yep. uh, like they 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 went ahead. They were the only one of the only conventions in 2020 to full stop fucking cancel the fuck off in order to keep people from catching the Rona. And yes, we're going to be talking about the Rona. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But like I said, I'm, my patience is done with you guys. I'm done with every one of y'all. If anyone wants to complain about like, oh, but it's so horrible, my freedom. Oh my God. Yo. It's a cotton swab. It's a fucking cotton swab. Just swab your freaking nose, both ends, dip it in the little solution, bitty, put it into the thing as if someone was taking a pregnancy test or some shit. Wait 20 minutes. The con isn't going anywhere for like a half hour. You can go to that CVS or the, the Walgreens or fuck, even the Publix that's across the bridge from the convention center. You can just go. It's okay. Yeah, no, and don't tell me like, oh, it's so expensive. It's such a waste of my money. Motherfucker. You're going to a con where everything is overpriced. If you're, to, if you're willing to pay $90 for a weekend pass, then you can afford to pay a little bit more for a COVID test. Yeah, exactly. Like, And they come in two packs. Get yourself a two pack there. It's good. Share it with a friend. And they have them reasonably priced at like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, also, like, and I do see here, uh, also temp dropped... Uh, some goodies to us uh, via our stream loans, via our PayPal here. Hot damn, Temp. Thank you very much. He went ahead and dropped 10 bucks in. We appreciate it, Temp. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, thank you very much, Temp. We really appreciate that. We appreciate it. Yeah, but getting back good on night. To uh, much love to you guys. Good night, everyone. Good night to the Ravens Lock. Thank you, Temp. Get yourself them Zs. Legitimately, though, brother. Get yourself okay. them Zs and get yourself in. Uh, Indeed. Was- get some sleep, man. All right, so getting back onto the subject. So yeah, on that's on on that particular element with registration, no, the staff they're doing exactly what they need to do. They needed to do. And I will never fault them for that. But of course, getting past registration, everything else was pretty much hunky dory. Um there was a lot of uh, con attendees around. Um it certainly felt like a breath of fresh air. Like since the pandemic started and like it's good seeing a lot of happy faces in uh, 2022 is it's seeing a lot of faces in Metrocon uh, in cosplay, just just enjoying themselves, just having fun. Right. Isn't that isn't that what we're supposed to be doing at conventions, having fun? And yeah, I get it. It's a pain in the ass to go and like, oh, but my vi- the virus of my freedom. Like, no, guys, th- if you want X. You must do why. It's very simple. Like, you can't go into a con without paying for a pass, right? Unless right. you're really sneaky like we are. No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, no, we're not no, sneaky. Come no, on. no, 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 no. I haven't snuck into a con in 10 years. Anyway, but legitimately, what people need to worry about is like, okay, if we're going to go to a convention, they have rules you got to follow. For instance, don't bring live weaponry and call it a prop people coming up with freaking giant sephiroth katanas like the freaking long swords or whatever but yeah those are yeah no like you can't bring one of those in as a a, as a piece of live steel no way so like people are fine with that kind of rule okay that's not much different than uh we like hey if we want admittance you need to show uh proof of negative covid testing or bring your vaccination card yeah pretty much it's just no another difference. rule. We're, just we're okay rule. with following rules in order to go to a con. Don't glomp anyone. Don't grab people without their permission, right? Uh, don't uh, bring live weaponry or actual uh, weaponry or ammunition and call it your props. No, don't do that. Um, don't steal things, right? Right. Like, don't harass the 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 guests of the convention. Don't easy harass rules, the guests. Right? Don't easy. harass the performers. They're right. easy fucking rules to follow. It's like if you're at Disney World and if they're uh, uh, like uh, performers uh, or doing Halloween Horror Nights or whatever, like the scare actors, don't touch the scare actors. Don't like tr- uh, harass them hard or whatever, or you will be fucking ejected. Like same thing with like going in. Come into the convention by paying for the ticket and bringing your negative COVID test proof. There, it's not that fucking hard, people. I don't know what the hell the hubbub is, but that person needs to get their head checked. 
Uh, don't sound, worry about it. That's sound just, mind uh, is on the chat. They're saying, "What's up, boys? Couldn't make it to Metro. Focused on adult responsibilities." Totally. Hey, dude, that's okay, man. I mean, not everybody could make it to the, the to the con weekend. I mean, hey, responsibilities, adulthood, it happens. Much to my dismay, yeah, it does happen. But now, getting back onto Friday. So, fast forward a couple hours later, it is time for the masquerade ball, <laughs> and I, and me and Juancho. We dressed, I would like to say, pretty damn well for some for a, for a fine gentleman. I mean, I consider myself a paragon of ultimate male fashion, if you don't mind. Ultimate male fashion these days would be Harry Styles, Joe. Harry Styles is running out in designer uh, dresses and outfits because he's helping break uh, gender norms. He I'm went sorry. out oh, looking uh like uh, bald, broken Matt Hardy. Wow! You got the crushed velvet v Victorian vest. You, I, yeah, it, and I'm proud of it. Like, the so don't tell I me bought, like you're one like, of the best things okay, I bought for Ravens you, and Rockers. You dressed, pro yeah, Ravens and Rockers. Those are the uh, cool like alt goth style fucking who's it's uh, an alt goth style <laughs> uh, store here in Tampa. Uh, V's channel. There's still people out there that believe in COVID conspiracies. Fuck them. They could go piss off a rope. Boonda was up in the chat. Hello, Boonda. Welcome to the Black Files. Did anyone cosplay as a COVID test? Ha! That would have oh, been fucking something. Oh, dude. I don't think anyone has during Metro. Nope. I didn't see anyone dressed as a COVID test. But, dude, how outrageous would that be? How crazy would that be? That would have been such an F you, and I would have been here for it. As, like, an F you to the folks who are saying, like, oh, it's a conspiracy. Like, no. Even the test shows up at the con. And if the test says, look, oh, actually, you know what? The actual irony, the biggest hysterical about it would be, imagine if the person dressed up as a COVID test, actually tested positive for COVID. Oh, no! <laughs> a traffic oh, jam when you're already late. A no smoke sign on your cigarette break. That's bad. Got 10,000 <laughs> spoons and all you need is a knife. You meet the man of your dreams and then you meet his beautiful wife. Now, isn't right, that um, ironic? Don't you think? But yeah, no. Uh, me and Juan, we were dressed pretty well. We had some pretty awesome masks. I do want to make a shout out to K Storm Cosplay. K Storm helped make one of my mask for Masquerade Ball, and it looks absolutely beautiful. I've gotten so many positive feedbacks, positive compliments from it, and I couldn't be much prouder of her of their work. Give me just a second, because I would like to double check something. Did uh, tell me you posted uh, your photo of yourself in the mask on Twitter, right? Uh, I think I did. Yes, you did. Here it is. I'm a, if it's all right with you, I want to show the folks. Give me just go a moment. right ahead. But getting back onto the subject. And yeah, and then the masquerade ball began, and um, they and for these for the masquerade ball, they also have a bit of a a live a live a live uh, stage performance, and it's all like uh, storytelling. There's a lot of drama, there's silliness. It's pretty damn good. Here we and, go. And uh, you know what? This is the part where I'm going to turn over to Juan because Juan is better at interpreting this well, stuff than I am. I Juan am, but Juan is best at wording. I am, but I went ahead and I'm showing the folks here. Uh, I'm showing everyone on the uh, ch on, on the channel the mask that was made for Jose here. As you can see, Jose is wearing uh, is rocking that Ravens and Rockers uh, uh, vest. Like it's got a little paisley thing on there, crushed velvet. He's rocking the purple shirt and the tie. I wonder who that belongs to. Uh, but the mask is what's really what's up. Uh, K Storm went ahead and they did like a nice little eyeliner bit going on for the white eyelining and feathered out over here on the side over here. It made the feathers on there to actually painted it uh, with silver accent and actually painted with glow in the dark paint here in order to uh, like help uh, show it off over here. Um, so everyone seems to be liking it thus far. Uh, J uh, uh Jen could, uh, Cude Pearson is on the chat. Hello, Jen. Welcome to the Black Files. They're saying, I would like to go to places like that, but with my blood clotting disorder, I can't take the vaccine and it's a pain to get a test every time. I respect the rule, so out of respect, I don't go. Jen, 
We appreciate you respecting the rules. We totally get where, you, where you're coming from. We've got folks and friends and family who are also, uh, uh, you know, compromised. So in some way or another. So we appreciate you looking out. Just know that we tried our best to bring the experience of these conventions and these sort of events out to you guys. So that way, even if you can't attend, you're with us in spirit. Um, and we w really appreciate that. And we hope that you enjoy the rest of the show tonight so that you can... Um, share in the uh, in the experience as best as you can and v's channel likes the mask by the way let me just show that one more time whoop hang on yeah go ahead i was reading the chat straight off of the window here there we go how's that hmm. folks so v's channel likes my mask uh yes v's channel likes your mask it looks badass i had a oh, similar mask thanks. made by k storm as a matter of fact i'm going to show that off yeah go right ahead and uh hang on i had your window off over here let me just Hang on, where, did, where is it? Where'd it go? Let me do a thing real quick. There we are. There we go. Now you're back on screen. Give me five seconds, folks. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. So while Juan's out to go get the mask, um, yeah, no. Juan, Juan would be better at interpreting the storyline that they had over in, uh, in the Masquerade Ball. But this year's a story theme was... Uh, they had a summer camp theme and they brought in different and what they do is they bring in different characters from different shows, different video games um, as part of this incredible uh, storylines. And over here for the summer camp, uh, 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 for the summer camp uh, theme for Masquerade, they brought in Dipper and Mabel from Gravity Falls. Yep. They brought in uh, Adoin, um, the owl uh, witch lady from uh, the owl house. Yep. Um, let's see. They also brought in Medusa from Soul Eater. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Oh, what are the characters? Uh, Juan, help me out. Uh, there's Kippo from Kippo and the Age of the Wonder Beasts. She was in this. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Mir Mirio from My Hero Academia. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show everyone here. Uh, there's Ida from Owl House. Who, like, she may be a jerk, but she's not evil jerk. Uh, and, of course, there's Zenitsu from fucking Demon Slayer, which was awesome. He was funny. Uh, he was great. Let me see here. There's uh, there's, there's Kipo. Uh, there is Medusa from Soul Eater. Uh, she was like masterminding everyone. And there are the Pines twins. Uh, oh, yeah. And also Kilua from Hunter x Hunter uh, was in this as well. And like I said, Dipper and Mabel Pines from uh, Gravity Falls. It was cute and it was sweet. It was this nice little story uh, where there was this bit where uh, like – Actually, do I want to like? Are we able to talk about the story now? Is it? Too I mean, we can choose to talk about the story, or you know, because uh, or choose not to, because the the uh, the folks who are involved, who are at Metrocon and who are behind the production, they also post videos of the shows online on their channel. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Like, well, the 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 summary of it is basically here on the website at Metrocon dot uh, Metroconventions dot com slash masquerade. Uh, the, the masquerade summer camp. Ah, uh, summer time to relax, head outdoors for some canoeing, maybe do some arts and crafts, spend time with friends, and wait, how long have you been here? Join your fellow campers at this end of summer jamboree, dance, party, and live it up one last time with all your fellow campers and counselors before you go home. That is. If you can ever leave, uh, it was certain, it was certainly a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, they break out like between between acts. You know, they break out into dances and they and they have like wonderful songs that they play. They played the song from freaking uh, um, Arcane, uh, League of Legends, Misery by uh, Imagine Dragons. Imagine, yeah, Imagine Dragons. Oh real, God, I love that. Song. Real quick, I want to show my mask over here, uh, and this is mine over here. Um, yeah. mine was actually like black and purple, like very, very deep purple. And at my request, I had the crest of the Jedi order up on this mask over here. So this was mine. I see. Yeah. Uh, uh Nikki Bell is saying good. You, uh, good. You thank you so much. Uh, so you see, um, yeah. And so Nikki's talking to everyone else. Okay. That's fine. Shelly Fitzgerald saying hi to everyone. Um, but yeah, no, like this was, uh, this was my mask. Uh, but yeah, no, everyone seems to be loving, the work that was done on your mask and K storm deserves all the props for that. Um, legitimately, this is fun. It was like nice and interactive story, you know, in between story breaks where you would have stuff happening on stage uh, where the plot was moving along. Uh, you had 
uh, other situations happening there where you had um, like the the characters come out and like interact with the crowd like hey have you seen this do you know what's going on we need help blah, blah, blah. that kind of stuff and you interact with them you just dance along have fun along with them and it was nice I love that part of these uh, conventions of the, uh, these sort of events I love every minute of it and uh, I couldn't I can't I couldn't get enough I, 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 and, uh, we were all, you know, sort of dancing, dressed to impress style. You saw Jose's style. I mean, come on. He's, he's rocking. And, and let's not lie, Jose. You've got, like, the, the dark count of Monte Cristo. Actually, no. Can Monte Cristo would sound good right about now. Fuck, I'm hungry. Mm, also, I, I think... like that compliment. The dark count of Monte Cristo. Thank you. That's a deal. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking, that's a, that's a sandwich, though. You're the count of a sandwich. Hey, shut up. It's part. It's a. It's a delicious sandwich from a uh, from a restaurant that no longer exists. Don't remind me. Yeah. But no, that we're being talk- said, yes, as Juan mentioned, it was definitely a fun night. A fun night of dancing. A fun night of uh, of silliness and uh, with uh, very with a dramatic and compelling storytelling. Well, it, I wouldn't say dramatic and compelling. It was just like it, this one was a much more of a lighthearted story. This one was much more of a of like a it, like it came off. It's a like a kids show kind of thing, you know, like a Disney Channel uh, sort of uh, kids show. That's why you had you know, Owl House and Gravity Falls characters up in there, which is cool. Fair enough. Um, let's see. Uh, the really big craziness that I was personally experiencing. Definitely came from the two night rave event of Metro Massive, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's exactly what it sounds like. It, uh, two, uh, two nights for the convention, two nights to rave, two nights to rock and rave and dance and party your fucking head off. It was nuts. I loved it. Holy shit. Uh, the second night was, uh, more impactful for me personally. Well, uh, hang on a minute, Juan. We can't talk about the second night yet because there's one show we skipped over. Oh no, we're getting to the, we're getting to that one. We're getting, like, we're go we're, it's, it's the, uh, what do you call it? We're easing into it. As you like to say, it's the amuse-bouche here, Joe. Oh, what the hell? okay, okay, yeah. Hey, amuse-bouche is an actual term. Shut I up. know it's, a, I know it's an actual term, but you just overuse it sometimes. So I'm, that's right. what, like that's why I'm like so something that you personally like to use sometimes so yeah, but anyway uh yeah no the Metro Massive rave, holy shit I have never I have not danced that hard in my life, for well hang on I was uh I I gotta fix my windows sorry about that folks, there we go here we go, I gotta fix this stuff, live tech support from the Ravens flock. Da-da-da-da-da. This is how you guys can tell I am totally flustered for tonight. Like, just well, talking. Well, on the plus side, at least they can hear us when we do our live tech support. Yeah, they can tell, hear us, and we get, and you get uh, part of the experience of getting to see how freaking nuts it is. Okay, now, to give you the idea here, yes, there are like f- f- six, seven different acts uh, working uh, the the rave. Uh, the one, uh, my, our per, uh, our friend uh zoe van west she's been headlining the uh metrocon rave parties for 10 years straight she celebrated her 10th anniversary that kind of puts us at the same level if you think about it oh shit because oh, the yeah, first because year we celebrated our 10th, 10th year anniversary in february because the first year that we came out as a raven's flock zoe van west was one of the first people we interviewed right yeah. Yeah. And like coming in for it and with us actually getting to see her perform and her 10th anniversary, that brings it around full circle at the same time. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, it does. Oh, oh geez. Represent. Whatever. Okay. Nice. Um, but yeah, we had Snake Bond. Very good. There were so many different uh, acts, so many different DJs on there. Uh, Rob I- uh, IYF, uh, Heart, uh, Hearts and Ho- uh, Hearts Horn, um, Graz, Snake Bomb, uh, Hardcore Plur. Every single one of these guys, every single one of these DJs had their own different styles, their own different sets, their own different mixes. Everything was fucking 
wild and nuts. There were so many different people dancing, so many different friends that we got to see. Well, that I got to see. I don't know how, how much more interaction everyone else was uh, was willing to to go in for. Uh, I know that Jose was uh, uh, wanting to check different stuff out, which is totally fine. But that's not the point. The point is the rave was badass and it was nuts. And uh, as far as Metro Massive con is concerned, I am going to need to limber up. I'm going to need to get my cardio back on in some way, shape, or form because I cannot keep up anymore. I am not a spring chicken. I am not a 25-year-old dude. I'm a 35-year-old dude, and my body is punishing me to this very day for it, and I can't get enough. I want more. <laughs> I'm old. Existential crises because I cannot dance well or for long periods of time. Anyway, that was a, a mental a breakdown courtesy of the Ravens flock for you guys. So go ahead and hit me a, a brain emoji if you enjoyed watching me have a midlife crisis in front of y'all. <laughs> or a snowflake emoji, you know. No, no, not snowflake like, emoji. Chill out. No snowflake emoji. Give me a brain emoji. I want brains. Right, Show me your brains, folks. Brains. All right, all right, all right. So, anyway, so getting back, so on the, on the subject of Friday night, getting back onto it, um, me and Juan, we actually t took the chance, and this was, I, I kid you not, it was it was improv it was improvised, it was thought on the spot. Um, we decided to check out a very, very, very special first time ever show that happened at Metrocon that happened in Metrocon history. Yes, Juan. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, by all means. Talk, like We're talking about the very first Metrocon drag show performance. It was titled Drag Me to the Wild Side. It was so much <laughs> fun. Uh, one of the, uh, A friend of the Ravens flock, uh, like more an acquaintance, uh, they go by the name of Ren Venominaga. Uh, they went ahead and hosted, I believe it was how many different people, themselves and uh, what did they for? Four other acts, so five performers in total for a about an hour long uh, show, where uh, every single drag ki queen and drag kings uh, gave their own different sets, their own different dance routines. They j ran into the crowd, freaking got everyone to jump in. The only thing that sucks for me was I did two things. I made like this is where I'm talking about the tech guru fuck up that I promised you guys. Actually, this is only one of them. The first one was I brought the wrong lens with me when I was filming the, the drag show. You see, Jose and I, we were w both running double duty. He was running one camera. I was running another. And yeah. Jose's was protect uh, pr uh, specifically for photography only. And mine was to do the video work. They're both cameras. They're both Canon cameras. Uh, Jose was rocking our SL1 which used to be our main camera for doing our show until we had to retire it out for video uh, in favor of the SL2, which is the camera you guys are seeing me on right now. Um, and that was what we're doing for video work. And yes, Bunda, an hour-long drag show, five different performers, two sets for each one of them. So you got 10 performances in an hour, which is nuts. It is fucking nuts. I don't know how uh, I, I don't know how uh, many people have much experience with um, like doing live stage shows or live performances, but I'll tell you that kind of turnover, that kind of ch uh, changeover for songs and performing uh, and like dancing to them. Ugh, again, I'm feeling my age. Um, and Shelly Fitzgerald also likes your Basquez. Eh? Uh, oh. oh, thank you very much, Shelly. I appreciate it. But yeah, all the dance, all the dance numbers were freaking yeah, awesome, like, and the crowd ate up all of it. The 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 thing was that I had brought the wide angle lens for the video camera uh, that I was using. So that's the same lens that you guys are seeing me on right now. That's the same lens that we use when we film the Ravens flock and Los Amigos play in order to catch all three of us in on at the same time. Which means that. Everyone who was performing on stage looked about yay big. Oh, even dude. though, even fucking though, we were sitting in the second row. And I even moved to the center aisle at the special events room in order to try to get a good performance, uh, like good shot of it. And I thought that going closer to the stage, that would have helped. Nope. 
Nope. And also, it didn't help that the only lighting that we had was the stage lighting. The house lights were off. So the stage lighting, once uh, the, the dancers jumped off the stage and j- went into the crowd and gave their all and gave their fucking d- d- dance moves up in there and rocking and shimmying the hell out of themselves. I was looking into the crowd and it was pitch black in the video camera. And I'm like, I hate me. I hate me so bad. Fuck. I was so pissed off. And no, Bunda, yeah, no, it's okay. Bunda thought that each performance was an hour long. No! Holy no, shit! No, dude! Come be, on! That would be... That's like that's like almost deathly, isn't it? That's like running a marathon, dude. That's yeah. crazy. No one can dance for an hour long straight and then do a second set for an hour long. That would make it... 10 hours worth of drag showing though. Although something like that would be a freaking maddening feat of physicality and stage action and shit. And I would gladly shake the hand of whoever could pull that off. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Holy shit. Also, Kara Froman is on the chat. Hello, Kara. Welcome to this evening's edition of the black files. This week's edition of the black files. Holy. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, no, and uh, like we said, if anyone was in at MetroCon, you're welcome to uh, join in on the Zoom chat. Uh, that way you can give us your experience of the convention. Yeah, no, Shelly's right. Talk about dehydration. Holy fuck. That would yeah, be too no. ratchet. Yeah. I, like I said, I couldn't wish that on anyone. But, like, legitimately, the, the, the rave and the drag shows were out of sight. They were so much fun. They were so wild and they were so crazy. I couldn't say no, and that was Friday night. And I think again, my favorite dance numbers from uh, the drag show was because uh, a lot of because I heard a lot uh, a loud pop for this guy uh, for the drag show king uh, Ground Zero. Yes, Ground Zero. There, uh, I believe that was their drag show debut. I believe so too. Yeah. Yeah. No, like and, they were uh, actually. They... And Ground Zero killed it as a uh, Bowser. Yeah. No, dr- uh, Ground Zero. He was dressed as like a cosplay of Bowser. Uh, like, you know, like a drag show. I think of Bowser where he's at this nice, like, powerful, manly suit on. And he had the shell on his back. He had this nice, the, the big wig with the, the horns on there, right? He was looking yeah. like a king. He was a drag king. And he commanded the presence of everyone he was da- while he was dancing. Holy shit, that was so much fun. Um, So that was our Friday. And, like, legitimately, I want to also give... A uh, minor shout out to everyone who was staying at the host hotel, which was the uh, Embassy Suites in downtown Tampa. That hotel had to put up with a lot of crazy shit, not just because, you know, you have nerds all over the building running around all over creation, which surprisingly, it wasn't as jam packed and as chaotic as we were expecting it to be. Did you notice that, Jose? Yeah, I noticed that. Um, they, yeah, no, the hotel wasn't like super crowded, and we've been to cons in the past where there were people who were crowded, uh, were, and they were throwing like little parties out in the lobby and everywhere. But here, no, no, not none at all. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, it was thankfully it was much more tame. Everyone retreated into their rooms for the night or anything like there. Um, like Kara's asking, this sounds like a crazy fun night. How was the recovery Saturday, Kara? I got a news flash for you. This is a three-day weekend convention. There was no recovering on Saturday. Saturday is where everyone decided, you know what? Let's pop off some more. Let's go nuts some more. Let's go and have ourselves some more geeky fun some more. Holy crap. No way. There was no recovering Saturday. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that I loved about uh, the Embassy Suites is their world famous continental breakfast uh, buffet? So you have bleary eyed nerds who, if they even pretended to try to sleep after the rave ending at like 2 a.m., almost 3 a.m., if I'm not mistaken, going back in, if they stayed at the embassy, the embassy starts their breakfast buffet at 8 a.m. So if you pretended to sleep, at all, maybe you got five hours of sleep. And yeah, no, uh, Shelly, so, uh, OMG, you guys in that heat wave, stay hydrated. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about hydration. 
because Saturday it literally freaking rained on everyone in creation. Now, thankfully, that was around the, uh, who's it? Uh, that was around the mid-afternoon time, so right after our panel was when it started popping off. Anyway, so Saturday comes rolling around. Everyone's having themselves a nice continental breakfast down at the uh, at the embassy suites, or they're having breakfast at their own hotel rooms, right, getting dressed. Um, I'm eating like a king. I knew that we had to, that if I was going to be filming and if Jose was going to be doing stuff with us with the Ravens flock and if K Storm was going to be of any sort of function, uh, which sadly they weren't. Uh, they we were going to eat well. You and I both ate like we ate kings, like man. Kings. We we, I like fucking, kings. I freaking packed my plate full of all the hearty breakfast. I ain't going into, I ain't going into the con empty-handed. You mean empty-stomached? And at the empty stomach, yeah, no. And you know what? Fi funny minor st story, uh, just to get a little uh, personal here. When I far first started going to conventions in 2007, oh man, I was uh, 19 years old. My idea for preparing for a con weekend, as far as food goes, consisted of nothing but energy drinks and energy drinks and energy drinks. I would have cans of Full Throttle, Red Bull, Monster. Okay, I can understand the Monster and I can understand the Red Bull, but I shall not work with a man who consciously drinks Full Throttle energy unironically on purpose. So I hope you cut that shit out of your diet. You better not. I am not dealing with any god damn. Go on. That was when I was I was 19. I was dumb. No excuses. No, actually, no, I'm kidding. You know I'm fucking around. And yeah, yeah. uh, Shelly, yeah, though the breakfast buffet at the Embassy Suites Hotel is to die for. You can have custom omelets made, or you could go to the buffet bar where you can get eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, French toast, oatmeal, grits, toast, bagels, English muffins, muffin muffins, muffin button. You could have cold cereal. You can have uh freaking uh what's it? You could have uh, it was apple juice, so coffee, good. orange juice, soda. <laughs> Oh, it was so good. I was a happy camper, and I'm sure you were too. I was, but yeah, but like they, I still had to be conscious about the uh, sugar intake, so I couldn't do like breakfast cereals. You know, like they had Fruit Loops and stuff, which was nice. Um, I couldn't Didn't they also have like Corn Flakes or Raisin Bran? They had Raisin Bran. Actually, no, they had Corn Flakes and they had Cheerios. Oh, well, but that's not bad. I, but I like you said uh, on the mandate of we're packing hardy and we're packing up. We're packing in the sustenance as best as possible, right? So I had Wait. myself eggs, I had myself sausage, mm -hmm. and I had pancakes with butter, not with syrup. And I had myself yogurt. They had yogurt there too. They had vanilla yogurt, and I had that uh, up in there in order to keep myself. Like, keep, like, have just the right amount of sugar intake in my system, right? And right. Kara's saying, yeah. like, yeah, Shelly was saying over here, that much energy drinks are bad for you. Well, this was almost, uh, well, this was 15 years ago, so we were stupid back then. Yeah, man, I was young, and I was nuts. Yes, we were both young, we were nuts, and we were stupid. Um, you weren't as crazy as I was. And, and Kara was saying, I'm only one year older than you if you were 19 in 2007. How about that? Yeah, no, you you could you like you, if you were rocking the con scene with us over here, you could definitely hang if you're down with that. And Gene Rick saying Los Angeles was 95 today. Yes, staying in the AC. Holy crap! Ooh, yeah, please no, for folks. Summer season is a uh, fucking scorcher right now. The UV index yesterday here uh, for for Tampa was uh, 105. Let me put it that way. No, that's not how the UV index goes. Though the you mean the temperature, the real feel was 105. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, I'm sorry. The heat that. index. Heat, heat index, index is the one. Was one. Was Good 105. Fucking grief, man. Ah, oh, that was nasty. I hated it. It was very bad. But getting back into the subject here. Um. So yeah, then Saturday happened, and of course we perused around different areas of the con. We ran around the con floors. We ran around the dealers' rooms, and um, yeah, and I'm watching. I'm pretty sure you got your fill of awesome con photos. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of photos. I'm I'm still working on getting them all up in here. Uh, and we have to like also one thing, uh, we're sending all of our media. So by the way, 
Team Dynamite Productions, the heads of MetroCon, hello. If you guys are watching, good evening. I We understand there are rules. We got to send you all the media, all the photos and video we took by the end of this uh, this coming weekend. So you will be getting that media. Uh, you have my word. Scouts honor, live long, and prosper. Okay, you don't have, have to it, advertise it, it like that. Yeah, but yeah. I do. I am advertising transparency. And I'm giving Vulcan salutes over my heart, left and right. Nobody's business. And there I fucking. And go. you knocked out your mic. That's there we go. Getting back onto it. So yeah. <laughs> I'm and trying yeah, to be no, entertaining. We, Give me a break here. Well, yeah. I know, I know, I know. And you know, we also saw um, a, a, a lot of cool vendors over at the dealers' room. Uh, case in point, the aforementioned early. Um, actually, no, we didn't mention her earlier. Uh, Lala Lori was there. Lolly yes, gag. Lala Lori, Lolly gag. One of our favorite friends. My favorite blue net um on the uh, on their uh is she is an this incredible is the first artist. time i hear you use the word blue net that's clever i've been using that word she is my favorite blue net and i love her and she loves me too we're friends in a platonic way kind of i'm kidding no um but anyway uh and yes uh to uh, to answer uh on here uh then we could show them and after they approve yeah pretty much we just have to make sure like the that the Photos and videos are up to snuff as far as they're as far as the the owners of the convention are concerned. Totally okay. Rules are rules. That's the price of being press. But that's okay because that makes getting one of these totally worth it. Because we're to like we're totally down with trying to put together high quality media, high quality footage, high quality photos. That's what we do when we go to cons, and in return we get to attend the convention uh, for the full time. And we're there to bring the experience to you guys as well. And yes, Gene Rick, the video that was done on Saturday afternoon, right before our panel, that was our live stream special. But before yeah. we did that came the big one, the main attraction of the convention, the annual, often imitated, never duplicated, anime human chess match. Holy shit. That was such a wild ride. Joseph. What, what? It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, this year's theme for the con and for the chess match was weird versus wild. Yep, the, the, the conventions like to have different uh, different themes for their uh, for uh, for the uh, uh, matches and for the shows. Go ahead and tell them about it, Joe, while I pull up the details here. All right. So on the one side, representing the weird side, I guess. I, I'm I, and, uh, now, mind you, I can't remember all the characters' names, so please don't. Don't kill me in the chat. Uh, we um, don't need to remember them. I'm pulling them up right here uh, for the uh, who's it for the on the actual page. We have uh, Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. We had uh, let's her, what's her nuts Carmilla from Castlevania. I'm gonna pull up the the screen over here one more time if that's okay with you, Joe. Go ahead and see Carmilla from Castlevania. We also had let's see. Uh, let's see. Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order. My man. My, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite redheads in all the media. Uh, we had see. Vi and Echo. Um, I think that's the kid, the kid's name from uh, League of Legends from Arcane. Yes. Uh, Akira from Devilman Crybaby was up in there. Uh, let me see. We had, uh, Frog from Chrono Trigger. Ha! <laughs> the frog was here. Yeah. Uh, along with Ayla. Uh, let's see. Uh, where, oh, why is this only showing me eight images? Oh, that's why. Uh, this that is such a weird thing to go by. Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, let's see here. Dimitri from Darkstalkers. We had uh, a, a Ivor from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. She was up in there. That was awesome. Uh, that was really cool. We had uh, a son from Princess Mononoke. We had Sailor Moon herself. Uh, Usagi from Sailor Moon. Yep. Uh, Sonosuke from Aroni Kenshin. Uh, Yah Yahiro was with him as well. Uh, yeah, Gerald there she is. From, son uh, from the Witch Hunter. Hunter. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, the Witcher, I mean. The Witcher. It's Geralt. That's right. We Geralt, had Hakuman right. from Blaze Blue, uh, who was a badass. Uh, let me see who else was up in this. Uh, I'm seeing uh, Reptile from Mortal Kombat. Melina from yeah. Mortal Kombat. We had uh, Razor from Genshin Impact. Uh, let me see here. Uh, the uh, Talkaka from Blaze Blue. She fought against Cal Kestis in one of the uh, fights in there. That was cool. Sukasa from Doctor Stone. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's Vi from League of Legends, and there's Echo. 
uh let's see here vincent valentine your favorite angsty vampire boy from final yeah! fantasy 7 uh let's see zagreus from the video game hades uh and there's geralt uh and uh undyne from undertale was here as uh, was in this as well this was a wild freaking match and we had Raphael from soul caliber he was made into a vampire it was crazy it was terrible no uh, nobara from jujutsu kaisen was up in this as well one of my favorite characters in there uh let's see and yuji itadori uh from jujutsu kaisen uh was there as well along with gojo uh and uh koga was there morrigan from the dragon age series she was in there as well legion from dead by daylight was up in this bitch. It was nuts. You, uh, Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, all, along with Heiei. Uh, and uh, let's see. And there's Koga from Inuyasha, uh, one of my favorite characters there because he's such a dick. Uh, Jin Sakai from Ghost of Tsushima. I still need to finish that game, Angel. Don't yell at me. Inosuke from Demon Slayer was there. The Huntress from Dead by Daylight was in this uh, game as well, was in this uh, show. Goro Majima from ya from the Yakuza series and M uh, Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. Uh, let me see here. And Draken uh, was uh, from Tokyo Revengers in there as well. This was a packed, stacked roster. Basically, uh, if you guys were uh, there, yeah, this is quite an assortment. Uh, it was freaking crazy. The match was crazy. Basically, um, there was an argument between Usagi's side, which was headed from the uh, with uh, the dudes from Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, against San's side, where she had uh, other beasts and everything. They were trying to say like, oh, like we had this argument over who's gonna use the the silver crystal from Sailor Moon to help heal the forest. We're like, no, they can't be trusted. No, that's not it. We're gonna help. And and uh, what's her face, um, Ca uh, Ca uh, Camilla from uh. uh What's her face from fucking uh, Castlevania. Castlevania? She was obviously like the evil teammate on the on the one side. She was egging yeah. everyone on. And Bunda is asking, "Does did anyone cosplay as Hulk Hogan?" By coincidence, yes, there was someone cosplaying as Hulk Hogan, and she was rocking the twenty four inch pythons along with the thirty four inch uh, triple D's uh, uh, pectorals, brother. And she had That's the right, Universal brother, Championship. Dude, Jack. She was jacked. And she was stacked, and she was ready to attack, brother. And she had the universal and that's a fact, championship. Jack. Exactly, Jack, brother. All right, let's get back to the chess match. Yeah, the chess All right, match. So. Yeah, the chess match was exciting. It was fun. It was a big hoopla of combat and action and drama and story and shit. So we appreciated uh, all the actors who were there. Uh, we're actually friends with the guy who played Trunks. And, oh, uh, yeah, no, Kara wants to, really wants to see the pictures now. Uh, That's going to have to wait a while. And uh, we will post the pictures. No, make no mistake about that. Uh, but we will get to them. There's a lot to get through, okay? Please be really, patient with yeah, us. Yeah, definitely please be patient with us, guys. It's not our fault. We're following the rules. We got to make sure that our stuff is... Uh, uh, tagged and okay by the convention that way that doesn't like t like catch anybody on fire you know whatever rules are exactly. rules we're trying to follow the rules but yeah no the fights were great the drama was uh, was awesome and had a I nice the story in it of yeah. trusting people and reaching out across uh divides and seeing that we're more alike than we are different as a matter of fact i think that's what they were actually uh saying in the description for the show give me a minute uh la, 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 la. yeah uh, we are more the same than we are different. Strange as we may be, wild as they come, yet far from human. The denizens of the wild are at odds with the strange and spectacular. Both groups possess an item of great importance that is highly sought by the other. And it seems negotiations may break down any day now. Will the protectors of nature be able to set aside their apprehension and come to terms with the strange and unusual, the possessed and the cursed? And what of the other threat? The threat that looms from both outside and within. As a harbinger springs forth from time and space to warn them of all the future to come, can certain doom be avoided spoiler alert it, it, it's trunks he's the one from the future like trying to tell me like, guys we can't like we, there's a disaster that's gonna happen you guys cannot fight is this we've got to stay together and we got to form a better solution ship breaks down they has fight they has a big fight and the fight was glorious and like 
people come together in the nicest ways. It's a big fan fiction fight that comes out and people come home satisfied with the ending. Yeah. I was satisfied with the ending. Like, good triumphs over evil, that kind of stuff. Uh, the, like, the, And this stuff was the stuff of legend and I liked every minute of it. What did you think of the yep. show, Jose? I liked I liked the show. I already said as much. Um, I liked the fights. The fights were definitely exciting. It kept me uh, it kept me on my feet, not well, figuratively, not literally. Um, and yeah, no, the drop like the drama and the storytelling is just freaking amazing. It's I, I it really I really don't have words to describe it. Like it's uh, like like I said, like just like the masquerade, there's videos available on the internet, and I encourage the people to look for it themselves. And watch the whole sh- and watch the videos in its entirety. And if they can't, well, we'll be providing them. We'll be providing those uh, photos and videos uh, in the near future here. So sit tight, stay tuned. Don't like, don't look awake because we will be providing you guys with the the highlights of the chess match. Um, and then after the chess match, you know, we, me and Juancho, we, uh, Peru, we we decided to take a little bit of a break. Um, we or before uh, panel time. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, fast forward to panel time uh, after, uh, after we got a chance to relax, catch a, uh, catch our breaths, ha! we, uh, relax, catch our breath. Are you kidding me? I was running when... all over creation, pal. Maybe you got to max and relax, but I didn't. Okay, fine. Sorry. After one of us did, and the other was basically running around all over the place. Um, we did stream live before the panel started and Hold up. We wanted legend to of the traveling with- tardis is in the chat give me two seconds sorry uh hi there legend of the traveling tardis how you guys doing mm, i love the smell of geek and ego after the sun goes down oh lordy then you better i hope you strapped in because we're going nuts over the uh chaos of of metrocon sorry That's right. i didn't mean to cut you what? off go ahead yeah that, that's right. Juan Arouse, the uh, the tech geek, and myself, Jose Casabona, the egomaniac. Yeah, the only thing we're missing is Angel here because uh, he's still out in international waters. So he is uh, still on vacation, and yes, he is on vacation. He is on holiday. Call he is it what on you will. Holiday. Call it what you will. Um, so getting back to it, we did do a live stream on the, on that Saturday afternoon, and, and we want to take the moment to thank everyone who tuned in during the live stream. We really do appreciate it, and we hope you guys enjoyed uh, our uh, live silliness. Yeah, definitely. We do appreciate that, folks. Um, what's her face? Uh, Adriana G is asking, are you guys going to show us the chess match? Um, hmm. At a later time, not right now. We cannot. No, right this second, we cannot. But, uh, hmm. hmm. Don't. Don't. Hmm. Don't. Don't what? Don't do anything that could get us in trouble. Well, I, I wouldn't say this is getting anybody in trouble. The, the, the convention's over. We're not spoiling anything that hasn't already been uh, discussed or shown at the event. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, listen. Let me look for it. I will find videos on YouTube, and if I find it, I'll share the link in the live chat. Deal? Yeah. Like uh, as far as videos, as far as videos concerned, yeah. No, that's a deal. Um. Hmm. Please hmm. don't don't take any risks. Well, it wouldn't really be taking a risk. I mean, we're showing You're stuff. Hated. We'd be showing stuff that people would get to watch anyway. Give me a second. Holy shit. I forget how big the uh, image files are. Um, I will say, I will show one thing. If it's okay with you, Jose. With the, mm. with the permission of our illustrious leader, grumbling as it may be. And what and what and what exactly are you going to show? Oh, n- nothing big, nothing big, nothing, uh, nothing cataclysmic, nothing crazy. Just, uh, just want to show something over here. Just want to show them uh, imagery from the chess match. Just one shot. Uh, there is a one fight that I showed here. I'm showing right now. It's uh, Geralt versus uh, Cal Kestis in a sword bo- fight. They had sword fight. Okay, was- fine. You can show that because you're a fucking Star Wars nerd. Jesus. Yes, I'm a giant Star Wars nerd. That- that's just one example of the stuff. Uh, let me see here. Uh, are you guys going to show us the chess match? There's only one little part. 
Um, and let me see. I'm going to go ahead and cut away from that now. Uh, Traveling Tardis wasn't there, but I'll be at Tempe Comic Con this next weekend. What about you guys? We will be there. Um, we will be there on Saturday, July 30th, the final Saturday of the, of the month. And Adriana G is asking, do we have a cash app where we can donate? As a matter of fact, we do. Hell Here it yeah. is. Cash app slash cash tag the Ravens flock. Yes, absolutely, folks. Go ahead and donate to to the Cash App here. Any any bit of uh, any amount of money that you send to us will go towards our um, will go uh, will help fund our uh, f- future projects or anything that we need for this channel. Exactly. It does like these conventions do not come cheap. You know, like we like the like even if you're even if we're just talking about the hotel room stays, those can be pretty pricey, and um, we do try to save up whenever we can. Uh, so any donation, any bit that you guys would like to provide, you're more than welcome to. There's the Cash App link in the uh, live chat right there. And if you actually would like to get something a little more substantive for your uh, contribution to the Ravens Lock, we do have a merch shop. We have our Teespring store here in the chat. I went ahead and added that to the chat as well. So if you wish to. Absolutely. Teespring.com slash store slash the dash Raven dash flock. We have an entire merchandise shop available when we, with different, uh, with different uh, varieties of uh, clothing apparel for all genders included. We have tank tops. We have t-shirts. We have yoga pants. We have hoodies. We have zip hoodies. We have all different types of clothing. And we also have different accessories such as uh, coffee mugs, keychains. We also have stickers. We also have tote bags available. And we have them available at prices that you cannot bitch at. No, you cannot. Holy crap, hola. Like, legitimately, I loved the I loved the shows. I loved every single moment of them. Uh, give me a minute. I'm actually trying to find something else here. Yeah, because we're supposed to get to, to the fucking panel. Well, yeah, no, we were going to get to the panel over here. What, what's wrong with you? Why, are you? why are you dawdling with the panel? I'm not dawdling. You're the one. To, you're the one uh, segueing. Well, I'm segueing because you know, like we, we they see me rolling and they hating. Patrolling oh the tournament. All right. right so, okay, so did we get to it then? Yes. Let's go ahead and get All to right, our panel. So. All right. So live stream is over, and now we begin the panel. At, and 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 our panel topic was life um, was a con life during the pandemic. Basically, what we did in this panel is it was an open forum for everyone who attended. We opened the floor for everybody to step up and share their stories of how they were dealing with uh, con life, with nerd life, during the height of the pandemic, between the beginning of 2020 till now. Yep, and it was crazy over here. Um, And I definitely uh, enjoyed uh, co-hosting the panel with you, Jose. We had some folks come on up, give us their take on how they handled dealing with the pandemic themselves. Uh, and Shelly is asking, can you send me the merch link on my Telegram? Okay, well, Shelly, if it's okay with you, I will send it to you right now. Give me just Not a, a problem. Uh, Juan will be sending it over right away. But yeah, it was really great to hear a lot of people come forward and tell their stories um, and talk about their struggles and what they had to deal with during uh, during uh, during the pandemic, especially during lockdown. All of 2020 was locked down. And it was knock and futz, folks. It really was maddening. Give me a yeah, minute. exactly. Uh, we had a pretty good attendance, and while not everybody got a chance, not, not while everybody uh, didn't get a chance to uh, speak up because, well, number one, we were a bit we were a bit on a time crunch for these panels, and number two, eh, well, I mean, I guess you know, not everybody is as 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 a story to tell, or maybe they just don't want to. You know, I'm not going to pretend to know what they're thinking, but and that's fine. That's on that's that's fine. That's their choice. But nevertheless, that did not take away anything from the panel and from the experience that they had. Indeed, and I hope, and I hope that, and I hope that those who attended the panel uh, took away something positive from from us, from the Ravens flock. I'm over here seeing traveling Tardis. They want their own uh, Funko bobblehead of us. They want one of me. I'm pretty sure they want one of you Ooh, too. That would be. I can hysterical. already picture it right now. A Funko, a Funko pop head of my bald, sexy self whoa, whoa, whoa. with the sunglasses on. <laughs> yes i want that you hobo of course but we must have black wings damn it no yes quit being an angsty angst boy who angsts like i gotta i gotta i gotta freaking 
like nudge you to smile whenever we're on camera and stuff. You're like, I am smiling. Look at my picture here on the uh, on uh, on. That's Black a file. smirk. That's a smirk. That's barely it's a, a form smirk. of a. It's a form of a smile. That's barely a smile. That's barely one. <laughs> Shelly, uh, let's see here. Um, Shelly was saying, I felt insecure during the pandemic in lots of different ways. No, I totally understand. Um, it, it like I, 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 I just felt pissed off that I caught it right at the end of 2020. Right at the end. Right at the fucking end of it. No, actually, no. Yeah, no, it was at the end of 2020 because it was December and I was like, nah, fuck this hell. I spent the whole year dodging the damn thing. Then we all year, caught it. We all caught it at the end of 2020 and we had to tough it out in the beginning of 2021. Yep. I know because I was there. It was nuts. Was and there. everyone else was sharing their stories. Some folks were wor- working in health services. Others were folk working in uh, different uh, types of uh, fields of medicine. Other, uh, other folks that were up in our panel, they were talking about how they live with people who are immunocompromised. And Shelly, I went ahead and sent you the, 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 uh, the merch link right there uh, to your telegram. So uh, you enjoy. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, the, yeah. No, Shelly's in California. Look, oh, God, I can only imagine the freaking heat over there right now. But legitimately, oh yeah, I know. Bunda said that's when I got it too. First week of twenty twenty one. Fuck. There is no luck for us. Fuck. What the hell is that about, man? Damn. Sweet merciful crap. Like legitimately, I'm at my wits end with this stupid pandemic. But we gotta be strong. We gotta stay tough. We gotta stick together. Cause I know all I know is love will save the day. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And of course, then after the panel was over, um, then we decided to indulge ourselves in foodings. I don't know if we had foodings before. No, no, we had it after. We had it after. We had yeah, it we afterwards. Had it. We, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Had, we, I had myself a nice chicken sandwich. It was so okay. Delicious. Like we actually went ahead and ran into uh, beforehand. Uh, we ran into uh, two of our other teammates. Uh, so big shout out to Zayana Rose and Dragon Fang Cosplay. All right, they're t- the twin sisters. Awesome we love them. them. They oh, wait, been- no, hang on a minute. I got my timeline wrong. We met up with them and we ate before the stream, before the panel. Mm, no, we met up with them first and then we ate. Wait, no, 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 no. You were right. We met up with them. We ate, then went down and grabbed stuff for the panel. And, and then we paneled. Yeah, and that's when, and then we saw them again, and we got to see our friend Zoe Van West. Uh, we got to see her, got to say hi to her, uh, and and that was like so much fun. She was so nice. She's such a sweetheart. She's only this tall, but you wouldn't see, know that when you see her performing because she's like larger than life. And well, you know, like yeah, she, I know, right? Like, the, the stage, like when you see her, when you herself. see her in pictures and in video, like. It does make it does it look like she is way taller. Like uh, you would have, you would look at her and you would have guessed that she's probably like five ten or maybe six feet or you know, heaven forbid, my height. Well, it doesn't it doesn't hurt that she also uh, sometimes she performs in these rocking big emo stompers. She's keeping the 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 punky uh, like nerdcore uh, like raver style alive. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. I have I have giant emo stompers myself, but they're nowhere near as cool as hers. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, she's got she's got us licked. Yes, indeed. That being said, um, then uh, then afterwards, um, uh, you know, while Juan was in the middle of just uh, taking a little bit of a break himself, I took it upon myself to actually check out another event at Metricon that happened, which was called the Kaiju Big Battle. That was crazy. Okay, just to give you guys an idea of what the Kaiju Big Battle was, what what it's like, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Give me just a second. Give, go give, ahead. I'm doing a thing. Da, 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 da. There it is. Voila! It's exactly what it looks like. It's a giant res- pro wrestling show with kaijus and weird monsters, and it's crazy. 
Uh, it's like the Kaiju Big Battle has been called one of the weirdest things you'll ever pay to see by MTV Muse. News, an amalgamation of nostalgia, pop culture, pro wrestling, and utterly and the utterly strange Kaiju Big Battle is an exciting wrestling event with the nastiest monsters this side of the Sea of Japan. Watch these high flying beasts enter the ring and wreak havoc on their opponents at Metricon 2022. It's crazy. It was pretty it was cool. Nuts. The way they set up the ring is like they have like these uh, these buildings, these civilian buildings all laid out inside the ring boom, so that when the kaijus fight, boom, they're boom, actually boom, causing boom. collateral damage. And they and, and and it's really funny. Like, I like the little thing that they that the organizer did there that let that like each kaiju signed an NDA, a non-destruction agreement. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why they have giant fucking buildings inside of the wrestling ring because there's not going to be any destruction. Sure. No, oh, no, no, no. This was before the match. As soon as the bell rang and the matches start, the NDA agreement is null and void, and they went to town. They went to town on each other. <laughs> Fuck. No pun. All the pun intended, by the way. <laughs> I can't remember any of the characters' names because. Fuck! They're 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 out. They're amazing. They're outrageous. They're insane. But they had a lot of pretty cool like wrestling. They had a lot of pretty cool like wrestling matches in there. It's pretty awesome. I liked it. I sent some video clips over to Juan. Um, I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't get to record all of them because you know my phone is not that cool. But it was fine. It works fine enough for our purposes when it comes to this stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. They had a tag team match uh-huh. where one of the ki- where yeah, where one of the kaiju's was a big giant like burger monster. The other one apparently has like a giant hand, like a giant muscular hand. And um the burger monster's tag partner was uh like a like a like a, like a female like uh bear kaiju, but she was also like a yellow power ranger. That was so weird. That is so bizarre. I'm pretty sure if anyone shows this to Jim Cornette, he's going to have a heart attack and finally keel over. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, hell, I'll, Goddamn. hell, you know what? If we ever get around to posting this shit, I'm going to say I'm going to tag freaking Brian Zane from Wrestling with, with Regret. I'm pretty sure he likes it because he likes all different forms of uh, wrestling. Indeed. Indeed, indeed he does. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Brian Zane there from Wrestling With Regret. Um, Special Snowflake is up in the chat. Ha, just made it, sorta. Playing Cuphead has me showing up late as hell. You're fine. Go You're ahead. Fine. And, and I like Cuphead's welcome, fun. Special I, Snowflake. Hey, Special Snowflake, did you ever watch? Uh, do you watch uh, the Cuphead show on Netflix? Let us know if you're looking for fun. Yes, we're looking for fun. And a sort of heebie-jeebies. We got the heebie We've got the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Welcome to the Cuphead Show. Yes, I am the Cuphead to Juan's mug man. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> but anyway, no. um, Angel would be the mug man, and you would be Elder Kettle. Yeah, I would, because I'm old and I'm crunchy. But like, legitimately, <laughs> oh, uh, 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 special snowflake. They've heard of it, but they haven't watched it. They're interested in it. Uh, and Adriana is like, uh, is, uh, "Hey, Raven's Flock is all about fun, so be late. Go right ahead." Uh, and uh, V's channel loves Cuphead, and they play it for hours on end. Awesome. I uh, I still haven't picked up the controller in order to play it, but that's me because I'm always like busy on stuff. Anywho, point is, um, the Cuphead show was fun. Sorry, the the, 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 the big, big Battle was, show was fun. Jose did yeah. take some video, and we'll be putting that together in our uh, MetroCon uh, convention highlight uh, video, so you guys will be able to see some of the highlights of of the convention. So absolutely, you guys, so, it's a lot of fun. You guys will enjoy it. It is really cool. We promise you that. Anywho. And then, of course. Yeah, and then we, and then of course, you know, break time. You know, got to get off our feet for a little bit, just try to relax until it was time for. Now, this one, this show really did me in in terms of emotion. Like, I'm not kidding. This is where this is the show that dropped my mask completely. He's not this kidding. This is folks. the show that almost made me cry. He's not kidding, folks. Jose was on the verge of showing emotion here. You know, is it like, and it was the Metro Fire Show. Like, it's exactly what it sounds like, guys. A full-on 
fire dance performance show for geeks by geeks, and this one was themed for the Demon Slayer series. I like. I'm sorry. I, I I don't. I can't wait to show you guys the photos. So I'm not going to wait. Cause hey, you can kill me later. You know what? I'll let you get away with it this one time. But yeah, watch those things. Because you have a better understanding of Demon Slayer than I do. Like, go ahead and t- tell them about the, 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 the fire show. Okay. Um, basically, the fire show was based on Demon Slayer. It was based on the who's it's of Demon Slayer. Uh, like, the story and the theme. Yeah, yeah. Bro- your brother got emotional. Yeah, Jose got emotional. Can you guys believe that shit? What are the odds? Him. Emotions. They don't get along. Where is it? Where's the fucking photos? No, that's not it. I want to see the fucking photos. Do I have to go back over to it? Give me a minute. Let me get here. Show me emotions. Show me. Here we go. Okay, so let me do that. Maybe that's where it will show. I don't know. I'm, I'm legitimately just trying to get to a bit where I can show it. You're fine, man. Just take your time. Take your time. Just remember, like, there's a, like, a, 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 and of course, mind you, a forewarning, the photos that I've taken uh, for uh, for the fire show, unfortunately, once again, they came from my phone. So. Shit. Oh, come Is on. there a problem? Yeah, the fucking, give me a minute. It's being... I did post them on the folder. I don't know how. It's not you. Be... It's not you. It's it's the the program. It's not behaving for me. Wow, what a rip off! I'm don't sorry, worry guys. about it then. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh no, just I'm. Oh no, I got standards. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hype something up without following through. All right. Like I like you guys deserve to to freaking see the glory. So I want to show you all the glory. Rod, damn it. Come on. Do I have to do it this way again? Give me a second. Give me a second. I got to do something stupid. Some of the smaller... You're really not even hiding your Star Wars creds here, man. Am I supposed to? Am I? Obviously not. Obviously not. Yeah, and you're right, Snowflake. Uh, Jose does have emotion, he just doesn't show it as much as his brotherly counterpart. Yeah, you're right. I'm the one who shows my emotions a little more. I'm a little more passionate than Jose. Jose just, like, tries to be cool. I am passionate. Yeah, but you try to be cool and stoic and all this other shit. No, 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 here's the thing. I'm passionate, not over-the-top passionate. Okay, so what the hell? What's the reason? Why is it not showing now? Okay, so I'm over here trying to see... Okay, so... Photos on paint won't show. Photos, uh, photos on this won't show. So what the fuck, dude? It's fine. Like uh, hell, it, like it, it, what you a could just off. Open... Why don't you just open up a raw photo from the folder? That's not it. It's the actual window isn't showing. Ah, oh, okay, man. Then, then Hang let's on. just move I... on. Because if, no, no, no. if we, because if we, because if we keep this up, we're gonna be here all night. I think I have a different way of showing it, but give me a minute, guys. I, I want to – I'm going to try one other way, and it's just uh, image. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try I'm gonna try something here. Okay. And Adriana is asking, hey, are you guys going to do more videos daily? I'd like to know more geek stuff. I really don't know anything about this stuff. I think I've been hiding in a cave or something. We're working on a project for that, as a matter of fact. We are working on a way to bring more geek content to uh, our viewers and our, our friends here on YouTube. Uh, Absolutely. So- we are working on it right now. We won't divulge any details, but yeah, just keep, just stay. Here we go. Just just, just stay subscribed, stay followed to our channel, and stay up to date on what we and what we're and what we do next. Okay, watch okay. Oka. Here's an idea of what it looked like at the fire show. Normally, they hold these fire shows outdoors, but this year because the uh, boardwalk of the Tampa Convention Center is under construction, under renovation, it was they had it indoors in the main events room. Take a look at this, folks. This is just one sample, just a just a a, a taste of the wonders 
that was in the Metro Fire show. Uh, this is them uh, the, like performing as like the the leader of the demons in Demon Slayer, along with like his cadre of folks who are there of of the uh, of like his uh, subordinates, his underlings. Uh, Special Snowflake is saying a uh, bit off topic, but I was watching TMNT the 2012 edition, and if Angel's voice acted as Splinter or even Shredder, I would stand for it. Yeah, no, fuck yeah, no. Angel would love that the would be chance cool. for that. Um, that would be cool. Anyways, and, getting back onto it. And yeah, ah ha ha, that's hot. Ha, very funny. Ha. Uh, uh, but no, it's like the the way that the story was told, and it was told very emotionally, and um, and the characters were 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 doing like the, it was basically like a fusion of interpretive dance. Along with fire dancing here. Dig it, folks. Like, this was freaking badass. This was freaking wonderful. And I loved every second of it. was beautiful, man. The final dance was what really broke me. And it was... It, basically, it was done with to this beautiful, uh, like epic version of the, the, the opening theme to, uh, to, to, to uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, I don't know where they got it from, but I'll tell you right now, they did a hell of a good job uh, pairing it off. So just, mwah. It was to them for that. certainly awesome, man. Like, fuck, thinking about it. <laughs> oh, man. It was, it, was, it was great. It was really good. And, yeah, no, I, I, I'm just thankful that I was there to experience all of it. And everyone, and everyone in the audience, like, they enjoyed it, too. It was great wonderful there was one thing that was sort of uh ticking people off where it was uh um where uh right up at the front row is if you guys could see just from the photo you see the little line over there they had to cordon off the stage area where where the dancers were performing and you had people on standby in the corners with fire blankets and with like emergency fire blankets to snuff out anything that might have uh caught fire or anything like that and there were people who were like right up in the front who were really pissed off. Like, oh, come on, man. I wanted to, I want to sit up front. Like, no, it's a fire safety hazard. Even I, who was like right up against it, I think that's me. Isn't that the photo? The, is that me taking the video? Yeah, the balls on you for being up that close. Yeah, no, like I was like, I was kind of uh, maybe towing the lines of like, is it okay for press to be right there? Or should I sit further back? Like, uh, if it's like, all right, better it's to beg it. forgiveness and like, be, better to get beg forgiveness and ask permission. I'm getting those shots and I'm getting it as epic as I can. Fuck it. You were ahead of me by one second. Yeah, no, no, and I, I and I think I, I I paused just long enough. I'm like, Jose, you see the two kids right next to you. Go ahead and ask one of them. If they would like to take my seat, I'm sitting up front. Like what? Ask one of them. I'm sitting up front. Ask one of them if they could take if they want my seat and give it to them. I'm like fuck it. If they were fine where they were, like cool. Okay, they were fine sitting on the ground, uh, right next to the the the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. seating. Um, but still, like I was getting the action shots, and it looked fucking beautiful, man. It looked fucking oh. beautiful. Oh yeah, it was it was definitely great. It was amazing. I. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed all of it. Jose was legitimately moved, and I saw him take his sunglasses off. Because I was like, we were indoors! It was dark! It was nighttime, and you still had to rock the shades? The same... Listen, listen, listen. You may not understand it, because I don't under I don't expect you to comprehend my way of thinking. But when you're at a convention, when you're at a public event, or when you're in front of the camera here on this channel, the mask doesn't drop the shades do not come off and yet unless i'm doing wrestle Re unless i'm doing wrestle rewind and yet or let me goes play and yet the fire show was so moving to you the the dance and the uh way that they paired off the the musical number to the performances was so moving to you personally specifically that you lo lost the sunglasses by the end of the show Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, my dear. Guys, can we throw some black and purple heart emojis for Jose? He showed his emotion. He was moved near to tears 
by this performance of the fire show. The you one don't. thing, the one little complaint that I've got was that the show felt so short. Hang on a minute. There is an explanation for this. Oh, Do there was? Quote me on this. There is an explanation. Do not quote me on this. I heard it through word of mouth that um, that, uh, that they cut some part, that the Friday night showing of the fire show was actually a little bit longer. And for Saturday night, for whatever the circumstances may be, they had to uh, sh- they had to uh, cut uh, cut it back uh, a bit. Ah, you like got said, to be kidding me. No, no, no. Like I said, do not quote me on this. This is what I've heard from word of mouth. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. And this was where, like, folks, I did mention that I had two tech guru fuck ups. So I'm about to give All you right. number two. Go right ahead. I'm I'll about be to... right back. I'm going to use the rest of it. Go ahead yeah, and I'm gonna, uh, rant. I'm going to give you guys number two here, folks. Legitimately, number fucking two. The the second fuck up is this. I went in Saturday fully expecting to have to swap out memory cards in the middle of con- of the convention or in the middle of perf- of the performances or the shows because I was expecting that I was going to be catching so much video and so much so many photos throughout chess match throughout the raves throughout the fire show throughout everything that I was going to need to swap memory cards out apparently the tech gods decided nah nah fam you ain't doing with that what you mean? I'm gonna be able to catch everything in my in the the 128 gigs of uh, uh, memory card in the in the card that I have in the camera now? Nope. No one. We the tech gods hereby decree that because you are over prepared and over stimulated, the pouch where you keep your extra spare memory cards, poof, be gone, gonzos. Fucking Dunskis, fucking missing. To some point during the day, I had somewhere in the convention misplaced the pouch where I kept our spare memory cards. And I had five of them. One of them was another 128 gigs. Two of them were 64 gigs. And two were 32 gigs. Now those, while they are easy enough to find, they're not cheap. So I lost probably like uh, maybe $100 worth of uh, memory cards right there. Just gone. Just fucking gone. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not allowed to have nice things. The fucking... It is true. Um, I actually did, uh, and I actually did try to help Juan uh, uh, retrace the steps and try to look for it. I even went so as far as to talk to the, con- to the convention center staff, go into the lost and found uh, kiosk area, and uh, yeah, no, it's not there. Yep. Nope, just just gone, just fucking gone. So that's However, five memory cards that I was just like fucking out. But thankfully, uh, thankfully by uh the grace of whatever gods govern this misbegotten universe, were the way of the force or whatever the fuck governed any of this, by some providence. We managed to capture all the photos and videos that we were going to get within the 64 gig card on the camera Jose was using for photos and the 128 gig card that I was using for all our videos. So go fucking figure. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. And then after and then after the fire show, whereas Juan went to uh, get some footage from the Metro, from the, from the Metro rave, uh, Metro the second night of the Metro rave. Again, I dance too much. I'm too, I'm not limber enough. Zoe van West knocked it out the fucking park. I got so much photo of her, so much video of her. It was cool. I went over to check out uh, their comedy, uh, their late comedy sh- uh, show uh, event called Metro night live. A take on Saturday Night Live, MNL, SNL. <laughs> ha 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 ha. It's Metro Night Live. The theme they, the, sorry. Oh no, the theme they had for Metro Night Live this time around is like they went into Twilight Zone themed. It was so bizarre and it was so funny. Oh my goodness, it was it was crazy. <laughs> 
it was so yeah. insane. I got I got some I got some photos from Metro Night Live. Um, like videos will be posted, of course, but it's definitely uh, good. like if you watch Saturday Night Live, then yeah, they go by the same formula. It's a it's a series of like different different skits with lots of funny hijinks, and it's a lot of fun. And okay. here. Take that, take that formula, but throw in a whole bunch of anime characters, video game characters, a whole bunch of nerd stuff, a bunch of nerd tropes and all that. It was amazing. There was one from last year that I got to see, which was funny as hell, which was like uh, along the lines of like uh, this video game uh, nerd they're trying to get set up with a new game for themselves and they don't know what to play and all and they're like oh my god I need help what am I gonna do and you had all these different people representing like video game studios. Or like video game companies, it was so fucking wild. They had one who was like someone dressed like very intelligently and he had glasses. It was supposed to be Hideo Kojima. It was like, I believe I can help you, but first we shall explain the the forty minute monologue of the crazy, uh, uh, terrible situation. Where you're like, forty minutes? I don't have that long. The show's gonna be ending in like half an hour, and we have like nine more skits to go through. What the hell's wrong with you? Then you are unworthy of my help. (laughs) <laughs> you had one person pretending to be Konami like we've got the answer for you right here let me just drag it up it's so freaking heavy give me a minute Like, and the person like Konami is that just a pachinko machine uh no get the fuck out of here get out it was horrible and like freaking making fun of uh of EA for having a fuck ton of like microtransactions and shit like they would do with battle uh, with Star Wars Battlefront 2 and with their other games it was like nah we're not paying additional for this shit and Nintendo like this cutesy little person with this Nintendo t-shirt on like I'm here for you no you are the devil you're horrible like, <laughs> but I just want you to love me don't yeah, you love but... your childhood don't yeah. you love playing with me yeah. no. I know you do don't you don't you, like you're not making this easy Nintendo get the fuck out it was it was hysterical it was funny um but I'm sure like I since I didn't get to see the Metro Knight live this time around uh like this is another thing we have like these are trial and error for us to return to these conventions and try to write down okay what did we do right what did we do wrong how can we improve next time? And improving next time is definitely giving you a camera and you can't say no. And you're going to film stuff. If I'm not in one thing, if I'm covering one and you're covering another, you're filming it. And I don't give a hey, damn. Listen, watch, hey, listen, watch. Look, I'm not going to tell you how to do your own camera work, but I think you were the one that made the decision to just uh, go one camera. No, that was for the, uh, for the night on there. And I was and that's mainly to, in order to spare us both for that madness. So one would imagine, uh, after and like as I was leaving the the Metro uh, Massive rave the second night on there, there were two gorgeous girls I met. Uh, took photos of them, said uh, met them. So, uh, Monet Essence, if you're watching, hi, pleasure seeing you. They were like the last photos that I took uh, when I was leaving the rave area. So that was awesome. Um, and like you guys already saw the the uh, the live stream we did of uh the, uh, of uh of MetroCon. So if you'd like a small sampling of what that's like, of what that uh, convention's like, I'm going to give you guys the link for it. So give me a second. Yeah, go right ahead. Pulling and uh, I'll continue on with the storytelling. So yes. then, of course, unfortunately, this is that's where our fun had to end. Because Sunday, as soon as after we, after we had to check out from the hotel, we, of course, left early. We did not stick around for the final day. However, we did collect some information on what happened. First of all, there was an encore of the anime human chess match, which I hope those who didn't get a chance to, those who attended who didn't see it Saturday got a chance to watch it Sunday. And of course, there was also the um, cosplay contest that we also missed, um, which I'm pretty sure it went well. And finally, they had the closing ceremonies. They announced that next year will be the official 20th anniversary for MetroCon. And in celebration of the anniversary, they're bringing back uh anime, anime characters versus, versus, versus video game uh, characters. anime versus video games round two electric boogaloo yeah uh, and adriana g said like, i think you guys said you would be back on later saturday and i waited and i kept checking in i'm really sorry about that we were trying but the madness of dealing with uh trying to get into one event and doing this stuff it was bedlam 
So I hope you'll excuse us that we didn't do a second stream on the same day. We should, like, what do you think we should do, Jose? Like, moving forward, should we do, like, when we're at these conventions, should we try to find an hour or so in between on each day of the convention and do a live stream of day one, day two, day three? What do you think? Mm, I think that depends because it's a, it's, it, it's a cape, it, that's a case by case uh, scenario because it really depends on the convention and what events are happening and what we're going to be doing. Yeah. And a lot of it also depends on like the, our ability to stream. We, we originally promised that we were going to do a stream when we were at Megacon Orlando and yeah, there was zero that, reception there. That's another factor. It really depends on where we are. Exactly, yeah. So I would definitely say if we do it for MetroCon, we definitely ought to do one of like day one, day two, day three. What do you think of that? It'd be nice. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I mean, that's uh, it's something we could consider because we can get a strong internet signal at MetroCon. But as far as conventions outside of Tampa... That's a whole different ball game. Yeah, it would together. depend on on uh, it would depend on signal availability. It would depend on our availability for ourselves. If there's anything that we're doing, yada yada yada. Also, uh, Space Sushi is up in the chat. Hey there, Space Sushi! Holy shit! Hi, Space Sushi. Ah, How you, you love you. And yeah, miss you, you very very much. And I hope you're being a good Adriana. noodle at New York. Oh yeah, no, uh, Space Sushi, their family, they, we love them very much. Uh, Adriana is saying, I think you guys should because it was fresh off your minds, but record it and play it later. Um, yeah. No, yeah we, we that def- is the suggestion, and we will take that into consideration. Thank you very much, Adriana G. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but like, legitimately, um, the main reason why we had to bail out on Sunday, and it hurts me, we really core. don't have to explain it. No, it, it they, nope. I, I can explain it with enough of our of our stuff on there. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, we had uh we had an emergency. We had to leave early, um, and we needed to make sure that um we were able to actually get home. Uh, the emergency was we were having trouble with our car, and um our car is almost twenty years old herself. Uh, and you know, she has issues. She's been having, uh, like this Florida heat's been crazy and we're pretty sure that, uh, something's up with, uh, with our car. So we're saving up. We're trying to get that strict. Uh, we're trying to get money so we can see what the issue is in the meantime, like anything further than, I don't know, our local supermarket, we don't take her out for anything other than that. Cause otherwise she'll start overheating and we don't want to run risking, uh, running without a uh, without a car so that's no, no, we don't. and kara was asking repost that cash app link so people can help you to get to the next com coming up why well, you just went ahead and did there's our cash app link it's also in the description of all of our uh videos so if you click down on there uh you'll see our uh teespring you'll see our cash app you'll see all, all of our other social medias but i went ahead and dropped the link on our zoom on our uh live chat as well um but yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and repin that. I'm going to pin that as our new pinned comment over here. Give me five seconds. Voila. That is now our pinned comment. Love you all too. Well, Hope pretty- everything is going well. Yeah. Thank you for that, Space Sushi. We love you. But that pretty much uh, that pretty much is it. That has been uh, Metricon 2022. Um, uh, Juancho, do you have any closing thoughts? Well, you first, Jose. You're, you're, you're the one who's uh, uh, trying to wrap me up over here. Come on, man. Here you go. Okay, well, you give it okay, your thoughts. Well, all right, fine. Actually, hang on a minute. Let me get a little more personal. Um, uh, give me just a second. He's verbally taking his sunglasses off now. I wish you still had the photo of you with that baby face app emoji thing, so we could switch you over from you taking your your glasses off to being you in the baby face, which is so weird and off putting because you still had the beard. <laughs> That'd be fun. Wait, what the hell is going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, shit. If I'm going to give my thoughts, I'm going to do this the right way. Um, go, go pull up one of the stools so you can sit. No, I'm fine on my knees. It's okay. I'm humble. Now. You, you, you don't have to be kneeling, though. Come on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyways, so my final thoughts on this convention. Um, you know what? In a time right now where everyone is going completely nuts and crazy over this pandemic. Uh, no matter what side and what no matter what side of the pandemic you you stand on, um, I'm thankful 
that Metricon was around, is around, to give us a wonderful experience. I'll always be, um, uh, I, without getting a little too personal, I'll always be thankful for the time that I spent with the Metro cast a couple years ago. And I still know some of the castmates to this day, and I know these people, and they've been pretty awesome. They've been amazing at what they do. They're they're con- they're continuing to you know imp- uh, step up their game every year, and. I really am, like, again, I'm really thankful that they brought us a weekend of fun and excitement and harmony. And that's something that we, as a community, we really, really needed. And I will never, and you will never, ever catch me say anything bad, anything bad about Metricon at all. This has been my the, my, my my home convention since when I first started. At, at, when I first started, when I was 19 years old, and that, and I'll always have wonderful things to say about the con and the people. And that is the hill that I will die on. That I will happily die on. Holy shit, people! His age just showed emotion again. Look <laughs> yeah, at that! Look, he's got no sunglasses on. Yeah, I know. You better milk it. You better milk this in right now. Drink it in while you can. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Jose. Uh, yeah, you see, people, they're melting. They're showing you hearts over here up in the chat. See, like, I would love to see that. Yes, yeah, see what I mean? And uh, also, we saw um, uh, Kara Froman and V's channel went ahead and dropped some uh, some uh, 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 some donation on our Cash App. Thank you very much, Thank by the way. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I'm now going to go back to my spot. You're going to go back to your spot? Yes. You sure? Yes, oh, I'm man. sure. Well, like, we appreciate that, this Joe. This screen's not big enough for the two of us. You're not wrong, considering you won't take a chair. What the hell, man? Good lordy, folks. Like, that was insanity jose was on the screen two times but like jose what he's got his sentimental moment with uh the convention um i've while i love the uh, the the people that i get to see at these conventions like uh dark lady cosplay i got to see lilith Corve- uh, 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 corvellis uh, 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 convellis I, I got to see um uh, two of my, of my other pair of twins the the Belenxi twins angel and kendra uh they're they're old friends they're they're young they're spry they're uh, they're in the game still um for, uh, and i got to see plenty of other cosplayers plenty of other friends um showing back up at uh, at uh uh, at MetroCon this year, um, if a convention isn't running right, if they're not uh, operating properly, I will say so. But I say so not to be like bashing. Blah, blah, blah. No, I will say so because I believe they can do better. All right, and obviously with MetroCon, they worked within the limitations that they had physically in terms of the uh, fire show. And I'll give them props for that because I was over here. I was in the in the special events in the main events ballroom in my purple shirt that you guys see me in and a black tank top, a black you know a, a shirt, because I was expecting because if we're gonna be in front row center at the fire show, I want to make sure that if I get hot, I get I take that damn thing off. But lo and behold, there was enough temperature control. Everyone was safe, and everyone performed perfectly the chess match was awesome the masquerade show was cool uh everyone who showed up at our panel again thank you guys for that um the the drag show was crazy i loved it the metro massive raves were intense and like i said i need to work on my cardio for that holy shit um but legitimately i hate the only thing that i hated about the convention was having to leave a day early but that is legitimately one of the things that we can't avoid, you know. Like we that had like, yeah. There's his a. He's back on in his uh in his disembodied form. But like, legitimately, I wish to God that we'd been able to stay for the third day, for the final day of the convention, just to make sure that I could ease myself out of the system. Um, that won't happen again. We're staying the full three days. Next year, come hell or high water, I don't give a damn if I have to walk home. I did it for my first MetroCon. I'll do it for my last one if that's what it takes. But, damn. like, the other thing that uh, that we had a big concern about was the 
uh, anti-LGBTQ group that was reported to be nearby. Thankfully, throughout the entire convention, they didn't come anywhere near the Tampa Convention Center. They stayed in their lane, and they stayed in their little hidey hole where they fucking belong, so I'm fine with them staying the hell away from us. They better not try that again next year. Because I, I'm all for causing mayhem if it, it means keeping our people, our fellow geeks safe. But like, legitimately, I wanted to thank again uh, Kara and V for the donation. And I wanted to thank Temp for dropping in on the PayPal there. That was really kind of them. That was kind of all three of you guys. Thank you guys so much. All that money that you guys drop, that goes straight into uh, helping the Ravens flock out. We're going to go ahead and get those memory cards replaced because that's that was fucking embarrassing that I lost five perfectly good unused memory cards that we keep as a backup for this kind of stuff. Um, But actually, you know what? Maybe we ought to save that money for uh, trying to see what's up with our car. What do you think? Cause I, it's like it's it's not gonna like because car repairs are like in the okay of either dollars. either direction is not a bad idea, Wancho. Okay, so it really is ultimately up to I'll, I'll leave it up. To, I mean, we'll 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 talk about that later. Okay, we don't have to talk right. about it now. But that being said, um, yeah, no, I agree. Well, surprisingly, we got away this whole weekend without a single incident from the Karens. It's crazy. Yeah, legitimately, I was. I, I keep saying legitimately. Fuck. I gotta stop with these verbal ticks. Like seriously, it's the... okay. I still call. I, I, sometimes I call Vince McMahon Mister McMahon. So we're yeah, even. No, he ain't no Mister anymore. He's just horny old bastard. Anyway, um, I'm just glad that we didn't have to deal with that, and I'm hoping that we can go to this convention into many more as this year goes on, because we're going next weekend for Saturday at Tampa Bay Comic Con to go see folks and to peruse around before we do our shows. Um, yes. And then next month we have Phantasm Orlando, which is like the spooky con that we like to go to. Um, let's see here. And of course there's also Holiday Matsuri at the end of the year. That's what that's our other big flagship style convention that we go to. We go all out. So you better believe Pretty it. Much. And that's it's gonna be in Orlando awesome. also. Yeah. I can't wait. Um and yeah, no, I agree. Next time we go to Metrocon, we're going to plan for all three days and we are not going to skip out on Sunday. Sunday is just as important as all the, as any day at the convention. Definitely. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping us up. Uh, hey, yeah. Let me uh, give out some announcements before you do. All right. So some quick announcements. So for tomorrow night's edition for Wrestle Rewind, which is Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube and Twitch. Um, along with my re weekly wrestling reviews of, w of WWE NXT, AEW Dynamite, and Impact Wrestling, I'll be discussing the AEW TV special of Fighter Fest Night 2, where the main event is Chris Jericho going one-on-one -on -one against the Mad King, Eddie Kingston. Jericho brings back the pain maker to take on Eddie Kingston in a uh, barbed wire everywhere match. With his entire group, his entire posse, the Jericho Appreciation Society, yes. suspended above the ring in a shark cage. That's so gimmicked out. That is so dumb. How the hell are you going to fit like seven people in a shark cage? That is so nuts. But you know what? Is, I can live with it. Yes, indeed. And of course, uh, other announcements. Um now, this is a 50-50 announcement. We may return with Los Amigos Play this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern to resume Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition pending on Angel Mendes and how he's feeling after his vacation. Yeah, legit. On a boat. Yeah, he's. He, he, we, we need to find out whether or not if he's uh, uh, off of his sea legs at that point and he's able to uh, uh, get back uh, in on land with us and be able to uh, readjust to life away from the open seas. Yeah, because remember, he's sailing off in the Bahamas, man. What if he got? What if he had a little visit in the Bermuda Triangle? Ooh, yeah, no. Then they would have to disinfect the Bermuda Triangle from all his evil foreign Cubanists and all that crazy shit he likes to throw about. <laughs> it's like Chuck Norris when the shower turns on. He, uh, Ch Ch Chuck doesn't get wet; the water gets Chuck Norris. <laughs> right, exactly. 
<laughs> oh, oh shit. Adriana G just dropped five dollars on our Cash App. Thank you, Adriana. We appreciate Thank you, that. Adriana. We really appreciate we... that. But yes, pending on Angel Mendez, we will be resuming Los Amigos play this Saturday at five. Of course, check uh, catch our uh, main show of the Ravens Flock every Saturday night at seven thirty p.m. Eastern. Uh, there with a weekly uh, nerd and geek related news. There's always something to talk about every single week. And the three kings, Les Tres Reyes, will be there to talk with all of you. Your mom and of course of nerds. Will- Yes, indeed. And next Saturday on July 30th, we will be in attendance for Tampa Bay Comic Con, which will be at the Tampa Convention Center in Tampa, Florida. I said Tampa too many times. Oh, and snap. yes, as one. Hold on. Space Sushi also sent $5. Thank you so much. We love you. Uh, she said, Thank uh, you, Benny, continue, Benny. continue doing what you love. It's inspiring. Signed, uh, Space Sushi. Mwah, Space Thank Sushi. you so we love much, you. Space Sushi. We really appreciate it. And we love you very, very much. And you be a, continue to be a good noodle, my friend. We love you. And, of course, we'll also be in attendance for Phantasm Orlando, which is, as Juan pointed out, it is a spooky con in August. Um, uh, Phantasm Orlando is from August 19th to the 21st over at uh, over in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be tons of fun. If you're into spooky things, I suggest you go ahead and check that out. Yeah. It is never too early for spooky season. It is nuts. You've got different uh, uh different horror icons here. Uh we've got Tyler Maine, uh Eugene Clark, Chris McKinnell, Lloyd Pitts. Uh there is Laura uh, there's Noah Garrett, Jordan Dinatale, Kevin Waterman, Beatrice Bop- uh, Bopel, Aaron Armstrong, and Don Shanks, both of whom played Michael Myers himself along with Chris Durand. There's also Paul St. Peter, the voice of Zemnis from the Kingdom Hearts video games. Uh let's see here. Who else is up in this? Uh, I see C.C. Rice, Tyson Hanks, Ken Barr, John Catap- uh, Catapano, uh, J.M. Paquette. Uh, let's see here. Uh, our friend, uh, Psychotic Beauty Cosplay and uh, 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 and Serenity Magical Cosplay are going to be there. Holy shit, they're yes. going to be up in this, yes, sh- up in this con. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun, and we hope to see a lot of you in attendance. Now, um, uh, other announcements. Um, as far as photos and videos are concerned, from MetroCon 2022, As we mentioned earlier on this program, please be patient with us. It takes us a very, very, very long time to get these photos and videos ready to uh, distribute on our uh, on our social media platforms. Indeedly do it does. It takes a while and I'm working as hard as I can to get the uh, photos out. Um, And so, you know, when we share the photos, they're going to be shared on our Instagram and our uh, Facebook page. We're also going to share a couple of the highlight photos in our on our Twitter as well. And the actual video highlight. The, uh, the the con- the convention highlight music video that we're going to put out, that's going to be coming soon as well. And that's going to give you guys an idea of all three nights of all, th- uh, or rather uh, the two nights and the two days that we were at MetroCon for as best we can. So definitely stay tuned. Don't turn that dial. We're going to be bringing you guys the, uh, the, the highlights of MetroCon very soon. Right, Jose? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, I'm pretty much uh, done on my end, Juancho, so I'm going to turn the, the 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 mic over to you, my friend. All right, Jose. I'm going to go ahead and sign you off for the night. Thank you very much for joining us, Jose Casabona, the founding father of the Ravens flock. You have a good absolutely. night. Absolutely. Have a good night, and to everyone watching, Al Fidensein, Abdu, and good night. Al Fidensein, not Al Fidensein. Al Fidensein. I bid you Al Fidensein. Adieu. Adios and good night. There we go. All right. Um, well, that's gonna that's gonna wrap Jose Casabona over here. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And uh, let me see here. And folks, we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap you uh, wrap up here as well. We want to thank everyone for joining us tonight on this special edition of the Black Files, where we reviewed MetroCon 2022. I want to once again thank everyone who was at attendance, all you guys who were watching tonight. I want to thank everyone who got to see us during the live stream, who was there at our panel, who we got to uh, say hi to, and uh, got to. Uh, and we apologize to everyone who we didn't get to say hi to. Uh, the con players were there. They were wanting to finally play the Pretender for, by Foo Fighters for me. They owed me that from Hall, Matt. I'm pretty sure we're going to get to it at some point or another. Uh, Special Snowflake is saying goodnight. Basically, she's saying goodnight. Thank you both very much. We're going ahead. We're wrapped up for, uh, for you guys, folks. So we're done. I want to thank every one of you guys for tuning in tonight to the uncensored, uncompromising interview and review podcast of the Ravens Flock. 
Uh, thank you for watching this week's edition of The Black Files, hosted by yours truly, Juan Arouse, as we delve into uh, the, the hard topics of, the, of geek culture, where we do interviews and reviews, and we're totally uncensored and uncompromising in our coverage. Be sure to tune in every uh, Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, simulcasting on YouTube and Twitch. Hit the subscribe and follow button and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our media content. Until next time, continue to follow us on Facebook.com slash The Ravens Flock. Twitter.com slash Ravensflock13, Instagram.com slash The Ravens Flock Online, Twitch.tv slash The Ravens Flock Online. And of course, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right here on our flagship platform, YouTube.com slash The Ravens Flock. Humble home of the Black Files. Los Amigos Play, Wrestle Rewind, and The Ravens Flock. For Jose Casabona and for everyone at home, I am Juan Arouse. This has been the Black Files. 